Well, the state lawmakers are preparing for a tough budget battle over the next two years. Governor Hassan today took sharp action to address a major shortfall in the current budget. It came in the form of executive action asking for immediate cuts in state spending to the tune of nearly $20 million. These cuts, as you know, will not be easy. In 2013, we developed a lean budget. But not lean enough. On Monday, Governor Hassan cited a decline in business taxes as the biggest reason for an executive order which will slash $18 million from the current budget. With a focus on avoiding unnecessary harm while minimizing the impact on the functions of state government and our responsibility to provide critical services to the people and businesses of New Hampshire. Under the order, the Department of Education and the university system will see the largest cuts, but with no direction on how to do it. Can we create a system where we're working together to start to talk about where the expenses are? Because I think that's the problem. Senate President Chuck Morse making it clear he doesn't want more dollars, but better use of the dollars the state has. This definitely is a spending problem, and I want to know how large of a spending problem it is. One area the Republican Senate does not appear willing to go is the rollback of business tax credits that the legislature approved a couple of years ago. Now is not the time with the economy just starting to get out of neutral. Uh, to be taken away incentives for working families and small businesses. That's how you took what the governor had to say? Yes, about? it is. The governor also extended a freeze on travel spending and state hiring, which according to the state employees union is just bad news for an overstressed workforce. We need to prioritize what services we're going to provide the state and fund it adequately. But we have a bipartisan commitment to serving the people of New Hampshire and to balancing our budget without an income or sales tax and this is one of the steps we need to take to do that. Well, even with today's executive order, the governor acknowledged she still needs legislative approval to overcome what could be another 50 million dollars in projected shortfalls, citing the legislative and judicial branches and their budgets as places to look for more possible cuts.